ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Rainbow Six Siege video. In this video we're going to be talking about that huge elephant in the Siege community. We're going to be talking about the Battle Pass. We'll be going over what the Battle Pass is and what it's going to contain and then I'll share my opinion. But before we continue with the video please take a moment to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. Plus you'll always have some Siege videos to watch. It's a win-win. So why not click that sub button, click that notification bell, do all that stuff because you're a cool guy. Now let's begin. First up, the battle pass is going to be split up into two phases. Phase 1 will be dropping in Operation Ember Rise the upcoming season. This battle pass is going to have 7 tiers and only last 7 days, so it's only a week long. They're calling it the mini battle pass and it's going to focus on Harry. Finally, the pass is going to be free to everyone playing Siege. Next we have the second phase. This is a completely new battle pass and it's going to be full, like a full-fledged, full-on battle pass, not a tiny mini one. It's going to drop in Season 4 and it will have two separate tracks. The first one is a free track. Everyone playing is going to get this and be able to unlock stuff within it. The second track is the premium track, meaning to get anything from this track, you'll have to actually spin your cash and purchase the battle pass. The most important thing, though, is the rewards. You know, what are we going to be getting for, you know, having this battle pass in the game? In the video, they show us some quick bits of things we'll be getting. We see some weapon skins, an alpha pack, a headgear for Doc, a uniform from Ash, and a ton, just a ton of weapon charms. So there will be all that stuff, and then they mention lore. Apparently, by leveling up the pass, we'll be unlocking more of the lore of Rainbow Six. Now honestly, I have no idea how they'll do this, and uh, they didn't really mention anything about it. So, you know, we really don't know anything other than lore is going to be in the battle pass. Like, we don't know if it's going to be in the free track, we don't know if it's going to be in the premium track, we don't know what it is, but they just said it's in there. Finally, what do I think? Now, honestly, I really don't think it's that big of a deal. It's just a battle pass. Like, at this point, literally every game is just copying each other by adding in one, so it was only a matter of time before Siege got one too. And for the most part, it only has cosmetics, which, which you know, don't affect gameplay. That's its saving grace for me. It doesn't affect gameplay. It's just something there that you just kind of have to deal with. Like, you don't even have to buy the pass. You just have to, like, look at it occasionally. Like, really, you could ignore it for the most part. Now, if it had, like, new weapons or gadgets, then I'd be throwing a huge fit and probably uninstalling. Because that's just a bunch of crap. You know, that's obviously pay to win. But it's just charms and weapon skins, so, you know, who really cares? Which, I mean, I don't care about cosmetics in the first place. i rather just play the game for, you know, actual gameplay. So, you know... You don't have to buy the pass, you know what I mean? If you don't like the idea and you don't want to support it, vote with your wallet and just don't buy the pass and just, you know, go to Reddit, go to wherever and say, you know, express that you don't like this. That's the way to get Ubisoft to stop, is don't buy it. Because if people buy it, doesn't matter how many people are, like, screaming about it online, they're going to look at the money they're making and be like, yes, let's go with this. Now, uh, if it doesn't sell well, they're probably not going to keep doing it. So this is probably just them testing it out. Plus, with the free track, you get stuff anyways, and we have no idea if it, any of it will be good, but free stuff is free stuff, right? The only real thing that's concerning me is the lore. If they're locking the lore behind the premium track, that's going to piss me off, and I'm sure it's going to piss everyone else off as well. People have really come to love and appreciate the various operators of Siege, so locking off cool and interesting story bits about them behind a paywall would probably not be the best idea for Ubisoft to do. If they do decide that, I'll just post whatever I can to YouTube and other social media. Like, that's just going to happen. So really, one person with a capture card has to buy it and look at the lore and then post it. But still, for the majority of people, having that lore in the premium pa like the premium track would not be great. And that would really, that would be it for me. I would just immediately just hate the battle pass. But uh, I'll be buying the pass anyways, because I'm a hashtag Siege YouTuber, so I kind of have to. So if that's the case, I'll just post everything. And people that don't want to support the past can still know the lore. Other than that, it kind of feels like Ubisoft is just trying to squeeze every tiny bit of like money out of us. Like, you already have to buy the game. And for me, I bought it on launch day, so that was 60 bucks right there. Then every year, you have to buy the season pass if you don't want to grind for hours and hours and hours just to unlock one new operator. So that's like, what, 40 bucks right there? Then you have the optional elite skins, you have all the weapon skins, all that stuff you can buy, which, you know, is an additional, like, 20, 40 bucks or whatever. And now we have the Battle Pass, which we don't know how much it costs, but I'm going to assume somewhere around 15, 20 bucks. So with all that, it's like they really just want to squeeze every every penny they can out of us. And, you know, since there's a free track, it's mostly cosmetic. It doesn't bother me too much, you know, because like if I wasn't a YouTuber, I probably wouldn't buy the Battle Pass. But, you know, I kind of have to. So there's a free track so people can still get stuff, but I can definitely see how 
there being a battle pass in the game can be a huge issue for some people. And uh, yeah, that's that's my thoughts. Uh, to conclude, I think the pass isn't that big of a deal because it's mostly cosmetics that don't affect gameplay. If the lore is locked behind a paywall, let's shit all over the battle pass. And uh, yeah, that's it. And now I want to hear from you all. What do you think about Siege? Are you getting the battle pass? And uh, you know, do you really do you support the idea of Ubisoft adding a battle pass? Like. What if they added in a battle pass to like Assassin's Creed or like any other other games? Would you support that too or is it just like a siege thing? Or do you hate battle passes in general no matter what game it is? I don't know, so let me know down in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing Rainbow Six Siege content. I'm the Battle Moon and I will see you in the next video.